Ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, to the Brentwood Center, Brentwood, Essex, England. One Punch Promotions presents Rise of Champion number four. We begin, uh, ladies and gentlemen, in of amateur MMA in the featherweight division. Please welcome, making his way into the cage, Jonah Harrison. So the Rise of Champions is here, and what better way to start it than two men making their debut. A very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to London. I'm Chris Hookstra, and tonight, alongside Dean Midhat, Dean, we've got the highest level, and of course the entry level, two men making their amateur debut here. Very intriguing matchup. Jonah Harrison, the first to make that big walk. And you've got to ask the question, Chris. It's such a huge stage broadcasted in front of numerous amounts of people, run by Bragg Pickett. Are nerves going to be a factor here? These guys are fighting for the first time in, such, in front of such a huge crowd, Chris. Are they going to be able to deliver? Absolutely, Dean. And that's one of the things that Brad, I think, in his own words, wanted to make sure he could provide a platform for fighters. He wanted to make sure they'd have that chance to come in in a great environment on a great platform and make that first walk. And now, making his way into the cage, please welcome Jag Chada. Jag Chada, another debutante fighter tonight, 20 years of age, and a very intriguing stylist, a man, Dean, who actually has a full contact kickboxing background. We love seeing those guys coming to MMA, making that kind of transition from the waist up points fighting style. He's been working on that BJJ. A lot to write home about for this young guy. Yeah, Chad has got some really elusive footwork, and I think that comes to the kickboxing style that he's usually like you alluded to, Chris. He's very comfortable on his feet or on the ground, and he has indeed been working on his jiu-jitsu skills. Loves that atmosphere of pressure. Really loves to be able to come and perform for the fans and sees every opportunity in uh, combat sports as a personal test. That tells you a lot about his mindset. Yeah, and he wants to make a career out of MMA. He's really serious. He wants to be here. He wants to finish decisively. So here we go, Jag Chada making that walk tonight. Rise of Champions, great to be with you folks here in London town. What an opportunity here for both young men to establish themselves in the amateur ranks and make that first step forward in a budding young career. Here he is, Jag Chada. Rise of Champions 4, the action rolls on. Let's go back to Buddy Johnson to make it official. Rise of Champion number four, One Punch Promotions presents three. Three minute rounds of amateur MMA in the featherweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner. He stands six feet tall and weighed in officially at 65.5 kilograms, making his amateur debut this evening from South London. He is Jonah Harrison. And his opponent in the red corner standing, five feet, seven inches tall, weighed in officially 63.9 kilograms. Also making his amateur debut this evening from Enfield, North London. He is Jag, J Jaguar Chada. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Sam Amidi. Sam Amidi in charge here. Rise of Champions for two fighters. <laughs> Enter the ring, making their debut. A touch of gloves. Jag Chada in the red corner. Facing off against the young man, Jonah Harrison in the blue. Harrison looking really solid there with those strikes. One, two lands. I love the way Harrison said that. What he did, he looked down at the feet of Chada and then went upstairs with the punches, Chris. Jag showing that good, elusive footwork with a beautiful right roundhouse, but gets clipped with the right cross again. Loving the timing thus far there from young Harrison. Chada's got to be careful about leaning his head back, Chris. Oh, big head kick there. Chada throwing that one upstairs. High point, Mawashi Gary. The crowd loving this one already. Plenty of action, Dean. Chada working on the outside now, using the jab to get in. He's got to be careful about keeping his hands up, bringing his hands to his chin. Some nice head movement there by Chada. He's got to think about defense as well as offense, Chris. Chada continues to try to show that right kick. Harrison's not buying it, though. He's going to eat that kick and then throw the punches, Dean. Common strategy. And these kicks from Chada as well, they're well executed, but they're slapping with his toes, with his, with his uh, the, 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 kind of the top of his foot. He needs to slam. There we go. He needs to slam the shin bone into Harrison, and that will serve to slow him down. So Jag continues to try and hand fight there. That long left hand coming out from Harrison. 
Harrison looks to be lining up that rear right, though, Dean. That hand will come down, that lead arm. I think he's going to try and time the right cross again, like he did just like that. I love the way he sets up. If you notice, he's looking down at the lower end of Chudder's body, so Chudder really doesn't know what's coming. He kicked there from Chudder. Again, missing the mark and connecting with the foot. He needs to think about bringing the shin into play. Yeah, that slap there from the instep from Chada. Not really a super hard strike, but of course, you know, from a points fighting background, Dean, that's something you often see in that style. You're going to accumulate the score throughout the rounds from landing those techniques. So it's not fight ending, but of course, he's looking for points here. That's a, a still a useful technique, but not the most powerful technique. And that's the valid argument. The powers we see there, a nice leg kick from Chada, but. I mean, if he's going for the points, he's trying to ride it out. If he's trying to indeed break Harrison down, that is the right offense. But if he's looking for the finish, looking to do some decisive damage, he needs to connect with the hard part of his shin. One, two again there, and a three lands. And it floors Chada. In comes Harrison, looking to smash down the punches, taking his back. Can he get something here? Chada needs to turn it into Harrison. He can't afford to turn away and give up his back like this, Chris. Harrison, very smart on top, but Chada's looking for the sweep, but I think he's going to give his back up in this position, Chris. Harrison needs to capitalize here. Chada thinking about that scar fold. Tough to play, though. Keza, a difficult one because the back is open. But what a scramble there from Chada. And Harrison didn't get the hooks and didn't get two feet on the inside of the hips of Chada. That allowed Chada to turn around, and now Chada is on top, full mount, Chris. This absolutely going from zero to 100 and the end of a thrilling round. Dean Midhat, what a way to kick it off at Rock 4. Daniel, Daniel. Daniel, power, power. So the action about to continue here, the second of a scheduled three. The doctor is making an assessment there in the corner of Jonah Harrison. All is clear, and it seems that we'll have a resuming of the action. Sam, the man, immediate in charge here with the officiating, great officiating here. The entire rock crew, our commission watching out for fighter health and safety. And of course, the rules and regulations, Dean, you saw them there drying up the mat. The door is sealed. Three minutes on the clock, a touch of gloves. What do you expect the strategy to be from Chada and Harrison in this one? Again, the feeling out process you're often seeing when two fighters come together. Now they know their strengths and indeed their weaknesses. And let's see if we can see, Ch oh, start to implement that. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Implement the head kick and then follow up with strikes, Chris. Excellent stuff there. Chagda doing a great job. Chada, it seemed to me actually through that kick, but it wasn't the one that he wanted to load up with for power. It was stepping in as the right foot landed with the right cross. That was his best shot and it landed flush. Yeah, the head kick was beautiful. And again, we want to see less of the leaning back. There's a nice head movement there. He moved it to the side. He slipped to the right side, Chris. So he's doing the right thing. He's almost evolved here as the fight gone on. And you can see the bleeding's quite heavily there from Harrison's mouth. Yeah, Harrison is absolutely in a bad way. You can see him where struggling to breathe. That will no doubt kind of impact a couple of things as this round continues. It's definitely going to take a toll on the pain value and also the breathing, as you said, Chris. But I'd like to see Chada fire that jab to try and damage, further damage that mouth. Good head movement there, an outside slip. Jack Chada is fighting smart here. He's picking his shots. It would seem to me he believes that Harrison will be on borrowed time. They must have seen the doctor making an inspection between the rounds there, Dean. That's why I'm surprised he's not attacking it. I mean, if he could try and open up that further, he could look to do some more damage, damage there. But I think he tasted the power of Harrison there in the first round. And he's just being cautious. He's using a lot of head movement, footwork. He's pouring out with that lead hand, Chris, to gauge the distance. And then he'd come in with an, an attack. Great connection there again from Jonah Harrison. Harrison's got power. It was that hook that rocked Jag earlier in the first round. Harrison dropping for some sort of choke here. It looked like he was going to go with a front headlock position. But tough to catch a guillotine here, Dean. Yeah, I mean, he's, he needs to at least have his arm around the neck. I think he's just served to pull Chada on top of him. And Chada read that perfectly. And he squibbled round now into side control to see put his knee across the belly and look to mount, Chris. Yeah, good positioning here from Jag Chada. I cannot believe 
the way that this contest has actually gone back and forth a couple of times. There were good significant strikes on the feet. But if Jag again plays it smart here, he can win this round. Jag's thinking on his feet there. He's, he's thinking about strikes. He's thinking about punches to the body. He's keeping nice and heavy. He's controlling the head. He's doing a great job of staying on top and really limiting Harrison's options. So Harrison trying to work his way inside. You can see the blood pouring profusely there. Yeah, Harrison's holding the body there. You can see he's clasped around the body of Charter with both hands and he's got the gable grip. He needs to think about moving away from that position because all that does is just hold Charter on top of him. Charter riding out the round. Just a few seconds to go here on the clock. And it's full mount here nearly as the bell closes out the second stanza. Dean, another great round for both guys, but I think that Jag Chada was able to steal that one. Yeah, Chada's red. What Harrison was good and bad at, and indeed, he's felt the power, so he's more elusive with his head. The head movement was key in that round, Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the ROC cage, our referee, Mr. Sam Amidi, called a stoppage to this bout at the end of the second round due to the fighter in the blue corner, unable to continue. So your winner by TKO, Jag, the Jaguar Cheddar. Beautiful.